In this video, I'm going to show you how in just a couple of minutes you can get started using the Tecla TEDS API. If you take a look at the API reference documentation, you'll see that there are three parts to the API. Firstly, the TEDS calculator, which allows you to calculate anything from a single mathematical expression to an existing calculation from the TEDS engineering library. Secondly, the TEDS application, which allows you to create output documentation and to collate documentation into a complete project. Finally, it is also possible to extend the capabilities of the TEDS calculator by implementing a TEDS add-in. In this video, I will focus on the TEDS calculator API. So let's get started by launching Microsoft Visual Studio. Firstly, we need to create a new project. In this case, I'm going to create a console application and I'll choose the version based on the .NET framework. I'll enter the name of my project, which I'll call TEDS Example 1. Now that I've got my blank project, I need to add a reference to the NuGet package using the NuGet manager. On the Browse tab, I can enter the name TEDS, do a search, and I'll find the TEDS API package. Just click to install that and accept the prompt and the license agreement to add that to my project. I can now close the NuGet package manager. Firstly, I'm going to add a using statement so that I don't have to keep typing the namespace for the calculator API. And our first example is going to be really simple. All we want to do is check that the API is working by querying the version number of the TEDS calculator. So we'll start by creating an instance of the calculator. And then we'll output to the console the version information. The calculator itself has two properties for the version information that cover both the major version and the minor version. And we'll print both of those. And we'll just add a statement to read from the console so that the command window won't disappear when the calculation's finished. So now if we build that project, we can see there are no errors. And now we can run the application. This will bring up the console window. And we can see here it's telling us that the TEDS version is 22.2. .2. 